Hi, welcome to Heavy Vehicle Inspection, a quick product introduction. So I'll quickly run about HVI is a SAS based construction information management system. And what you see on my screen is a desktop or laptop portal. User could open it on any laptop or desktop device, whether it's a Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Edge, Firefox, Safari, all the browsers, and without any need of a plugin. The application is delivered in the multiple modules. We have a one inspection module. It is everything around conducting all the safety compliance or routine inspections and making sure all that information is captured in the most detailed fashion with all fine details inside. And it is transmitted to back office immediately from the construction or mine sites. And then it takes care of all the life cycle of the information from that point onwards until it has fully come to a conclusion, either to a corrective action or a fix or a note from the planning and the management people. So this is all around the inspections. Uh, one could design flexibility forms, many forms for the industry, or uh, much as easily can turn into any paper-based inspection form, audit, safety, compliance, health, those forms and checklists to in digital form can set up a very detailed reminder so the people do not miss it. They can do it timely fashion. And then this is for the specially designed for uh, underground mine site, which they run in the multiple shift. Our information can be layered from uh, operator to operator or from one shift to another shift. And it keeps a genealogical record for the entire work week. A weekly report is provided as part of that to understand how the week has been for a particular asset. And then in the maintenance module, whatever is captured in the inspections by the operators, drivers, auditors, or whoever, the next step can be taken in that. And you know, it has to be taken to the conclusion with all the execution data captured here, or which comes in great detail to execute beautiful user interface for the operators, drivers. But this is for the mechanic, you know, they can work in their environment or with that most efficiency. Uh, it has latest wheels and visuals to execute the maintenance process. And then again, it's a request process. One could request a field maintenance any field staff could request from their mobile devices in less than 30 seconds. And that information land here in real time. Uh, it engages many background workflows uh, that kind of, you know, layer the required people. Uh, it engages the approvals and process and brings that process to next. Uh, the maintenance is the plan maintenance and preventive maintenance. So again, it comes in a very detailed fashion. Uh, it keeps the information for planned and preventive maintenance in better form than the traditional ERP system that include SAP plant maintenance or enterprise asset management or Oracle or EAM products, or for that matter, any new product which has been in the industry. Uh, this is one of the best curtailed solution for construction industry people and then beyond maintenance we have the fuel management that again it's very critical for any construction sites uh, they maintain their own fuel bunkers mobile fuel trucks how far they are doing it in that what's the current status on their fuel bunkers it keeps a detailed track around them uh, let them know with the background workflows when the levels drop beyond a certain range. And then the fuel logger is for 
all the assets whenever they are taking fuels from the mobile bunkers, fuel trucks, or from the outstations, all that information is detailed and captured in the system. Now the next module is around the tools, inventory and check-in check-out. Uh, this is particularly valuable as the construction sites maintain a lot of tools. Uh, for example, a single excavator can have uh, multiple attachments around it with a different kind of uses. And those tools are shared typically between the operator drivers or multiple crews or between the sites. So this gives them a step one to know where are those tools, uh, have the complete inventory of all the tools and then keep the track where they are or who is you know, requesting a check-in or checking out the tools. And then we do have the deployment dashboards, uh, which are not part of it right now, but that maintain all the vehicle deployment statics, all the construction machinery, where it is deployed, how efficiently it is being used, that is being captured as part of the deployment module. The vehicle master data is all around the overall asset details. If we go in detail, uh, it maintains fine detail around each and every asset in terms of overall what's going on around, what are the top problematic statements coming, how many inspections are coming through, the quality they are, if any incident or safety incident happened on the set, all the upcoming planned and preventive maintenance cycles. So it keep a genealogy for that asset. You would find everything as required. Uh, it can keep a log of all the documentation, for example, warranty, insurance, claims, or any capital expenditure on the asset. All that could be captured here. It kept a single record for the information. And the team management, it maintain all the team information. So it's a role-based system where each and every user given a limited access or based on their uses. Construction, you may have foreman, crews, or back office planner, or the safety manager, or the fleet manager, or, and of course the management. And they could have a control-based access to the information that pertaining for them. And then side project helps them to create a multi-site environment for any construction business. It's quite essential to maintain multiple job sites and you know, keep track of that. The reporting gives a flexible way to have all that information, the entire transactional information generated. They could see it in the Excel format, export the data for any given duration and analyze it as they wish to. Or oh, this is again a best practices KPIs where they could you know see their growth year over year, how they are improving and how they are functioning in the system. Again, if they need more KPIs, uh, there is a we provide very detailed Power BI Microsoft based uh, you know historic reporting and they could have a ton of data in that their own kpis they define their business kpis and we provide those additional kpis based on their data collected in system so that's typically how uh, you would see the system it's a multilingual system uh, one could use it in any language the background data is same but our ai and machine learning system turns all the information for the end user uh, so it really helps them. For example, if my mechanic is a Spanish fluent person, he's a good mechanic, but you know he would do his execution in Spanish, then he gets an advantage because the system is native for him. He could download the mobile apps in his language. And it's especially good for the European Union where the boundaries are really small, but their languages change so frequently. Uh, such dynamic teams can work on our system and they, they utilize it greatly. Uh, 
I would quickly show on the mobility side as well, how it looks, uh, because majority of our users also have a combination of field staff. And uh, for them, having a traditional system doesn't suit their needs. And that's where they get the mobility devices where they could effortlessly utilize and put the information while still being at the main job site. So they could use any device, Android, iPhone, iPad, all tablets, and you know, interact with the system in much easier and simpler way. Everything what is on the portal is available on the mobility side. It's a very easy to use system what they could interact with their level of information. I would do an every morning inspection and maybe I could just do in a quick step. That's uh, my morning routine. I'll go ahead and do my vehicle interior. How my beater pins looks, well, that's good. Uh, and again, it's a it's a color coded screen. So the user, uh, whoever is putting the data, operator, driver, they very much in knowledge what they are uh, writing. So they could do a voice notes. And again, it helps the field staff because they don't have to write it. Uh, and the small things make difference for them. I could capture multiple pictures if there is a visual damage. Uh, it would be more efficient for me to draw a picture or put some notes in it. And it does that beautifully. So when we go ahead and go over all the forms, one can, uh, just holding me that, hey, this was a mandatory ask. I have to fill this. So I'll go ahead and fill that question and we'll see. Well, it asks a couple more, so I would go ahead and mark this layer done. So essentially this is a control on the system. One has to put a details in order to proceed. And we want to make sure we are putting all those details here. But it really make much easier for the end user as they are able to fill these forms faster than what they would do on a piece of paper. But of course, much better quality of information. It's visually telling them, hey, there are two faults you're indicating, and perhaps it's a a bit of a repair required. My vehicle is not safe and I could report a breakdown uh, if that fault is holding my day-to-day -day operations. And as well, if I'm in the knowledge, I may indicate what kind of priority I would see for this. And that's typical step. Uh, I've submitted a document to the back office. In the background, it immediately triggered workflows let the product or the back office know. And that, uh, you know, creates an instant communication chain between the driver and the back office. There are emails triggered in the background for the planning and back office. They have this entire document uh, within a few seconds. So that kind of makes it much easier for the driver label. Now, as a driver, I would retain this information in my app for any audits and inspection. I can go ahead and, and mark a quick corrective action if this is fixed and go ahead and keep a digital record that this information was you know, created in system and one go ahead and, you know, got it fixed and the asset is back to the routine. And what it really does is it maintain the second layer of paperwork that the fault came and it has been fixed. 
beyond that, it does a lot more to maintain the further layering. But for a short introduction, I'll take a pause here. So that's pretty much it around the inspection and mobility side.